Outbound Coffee is now located off I-10 in Probant, and Adriana, the owner and barista extraordinaire, is whipping up three fall drinks for us today with a San Antonio twist. And Adriana, the owner, joins us now. Adriana, thanks for having me out. You know I love coffee. I don't know if you know this, but Do you? yes, oh, I'm wow. obsessed. <laughs> Good. You yeah. came to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> and we heard your story about a year ago. Mm -hmm. I love everything you do with Aww. the San Antonio Twist. I just love that. So what's happened over the past year for you? We've been able to acquire many followers on our social media pages. Um, we did also change locations. Um, so we used to be located on the far south side. Um, we decided to move more south town um, only because, you know, we needed a new spot. Mm -hmm. We needed something that was a little bit more accessible. We've been doing really well at this location. We um, are working on seasonal drinks. The basic bruja is probably our most popular drink. Um, it is a pumpkin spice horchata latte and those are house-made syrups and it's really good. Honestly, it's kind of like our most popular horchata flavor just mixed in with a little bit of pumpkin spice and it just gives it like a great like cinnamon and clove kind of flavor with a little bit of coffee in there. You can do it iced or hot. So the GOAT is pretty funny. It's an acronym for greatest of all time and I thought it was just fitting because it's made out of cajeta. So cajeta and cinnamon which cajeta is traditionally made with goat's milk. It's two shots of espresso and then uh, cinnamon cajeta syrup. This is the Granny Smith, which is actually not coffee. It's a matcha drink, which is a green tea powder. And then it's mixed with a house-made apple cider. The best way that I can describe the flavor is it tastes almost like apple jacks. I just love talking to people and because I am the only one who runs the business, I feel like I build a lot of connections with my customers. I mean, you're walking up to a pink trailer, like it just feels like happy and you're gonna get coffee and it's just like, I want them to have a good experience. My dad came by, he, he brought my niece um, to come get some coffee. I'm gonna start crying. So he was just telling me that. <sighs> he was just telling me that his friends were gonna come by. And I don't know, he just gets really excited and he talks about it. And then his friends came by and they were talking about him and how he talks about my business at his job. And <sighs> it's just, it's a nice feeling to just kind of think that my parents sacrificed so much just like coming here and then like for them to be proud of me is just, I don't know, it's very rewarding. You know, those kind of passion projects, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. 